Hey, what's up you guys? Hey, thanks for watching these videos. I just want to tell you about my day a couple days ago. Uh, just give you a little idea of what I'm doing every day. So went in, uh, rounded on everybody. We had like ooh, seven patients or so. And then we ended up having a gallbladder that was scheduled in the morning. Gallstone pancreatitis. So there was a gallstone stuck in the duct. The common bile duct and the pancreatic duct come together sometimes. When the gallstone gets stuck in those, that can give you pancreatitis. So when you have those, generally you do a cholangiogram. A lot of people do it, especially if the billies are up, like the total billy room is uh, abnormal, it's ele elevated, which it was in this one. So we decided that we're gonna do a cholangiogram. We did a lap coli with cholangiogram, which didn't take very long. I mean, it was like 45 minutes. Then the gallbladder was like fairly inflamed. Like sometimes you get super easy gallbladders where they're not inflamed at all, and the patient just has biliary colic and they have some gallstones and stuff, and you take it out, it's super easy. And then other times they're super sick and the gallbladder's like infected or gangrenous and dying, and it's harder and it bleeds more and it takes more time. This one was like kind of in the middle. It was a little bit inflamed, but not terrible. It took like 45 minutes. And then we had, actually we had an awesome case. It was a gallstone ileus, which is another entity to dealing with the gallbladder. So what happens is the gallstone erodes through the gallbladder and it causes inflammation on the duodenum, which is the first part of small bowel. It erodes into the duodenum. And then the gallbladder was like, I mean the gallstone was like that big, it was really big. So it goes in the, gall, uh, the duodenum, it goes downstream the small bowel, and then usually it gets stuck right next to where the small bowel goes into the cecum, and then it doesn't let it come back. And so it is tight there when the gallstone comes to that point, usually gets stuck there. But this one was actually stuck upstream. The, the small bowel was narrowed a little bit right there and it couldn't pass. And the patient then got an obstruction. So it's a small bowel obstruction. They present like a small bowel obstruction, but really they have a gallstone problem. So what you do in that situation is you just go in, you, t you make it a little incision proximal to where the stone is. Usually the stone can erode the small bowel. So if it gets all tore up right there, you don't want to sew that back together. So you go proximal to that upstream, make a little incision, milk the stone back and take the stone out. And ours actually was not inflamed, so I just made an incision right over the top of the stone. Popped the stone out, it was nice and fresh tissue, it looked good, so we sewed it back up, dropped it back in, and it was a pretty sweet case. You don't really see that very often, it's a very, very small amount of patients with gallstones have that, it's like 0.1 or maybe even less. So that was a rare kind of thing, and it's super awesome to see. So those are the two cases I had that day, nothing too, too exciting as far as like, you know, traumas and all that stuff. Those were emergency general surgery cases, emergency. Some of them are urgent, some are emergent, some of them are semi-elective, and we do them anyway, so it just depends on the patient, the timing, all that stuff. That's what I did that day. I will make some more of these videos for you. Hopefully you guys like them. If you like, if you like these, if you want me to tell you what I'm doing every day, like in this format, I can do that. I got my diplomas back up there. I got a white coat on. These guys are cool. Metalita, they make a really good coat. If you're in the market for a coat, Metalita is pretty cool. They don't give me any money to say that. Maybe they will at some point. I, I would like that. I, I enjoy money. Uh, I'm a fan of it. I would like more of it. Metalita, if you wanna give me some for that, that would be awesome. So anyway, if you do like these coats, which they fit very well, I'll put a link in below. You can check it out. Tell me if you like these videos, if you want me to tell you more about what I do every day in this little two minute to three minute short format. All right, cool. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot, you guys.